This video is on looping in NetLogo. We had an earlier video on looping. This video expands on, on that earlier video and gives you NetLogo examples for the more complicated looping commands. As you already know, there are three common types of loops in most programming languages. Infinite loops, counted loops, and conditional loops. Now, all loops share some things in common. There's the body of the loop, which is the portion of the code that is repeated while the loop is active. And each time you go through the body of the loop, that's called an iteration. So the number of iterations is the number of times the loop is executed. Now, some types of loops have other properties. For instance, a loop could have a loop variable if it's a counted loop. And a loop variable is incremented each time the loop is executed. Or you could have a loop conditional. That's a conditional statement, a true-false statement, that's checked during the looping process. If the statement is true, the looping will continue, and if it's false, the looping will stop. Now you're all familiar with infinite loops. An infinite loop repeats the body of the loop until one of the following things happens. A stop command is given inside the program. The loop is manually turned off or a runtime error occurs. Now you're already familiar with this in NetLogo because you have created forever loops, which is a type of infinite loop. And the forever loop is indicated by the little circular arrows in the bottom right hand corner of this button below. Counted loops are repeated a fixed number of times during the program. Now you must either know how many times you want the loop to be repeated before your programming or you must be able to calculate the maximum number of times to repeat the loop during the program execution. NetLogo has a specific command for counter loops. It's called the repeat command. And the typical way it's used is shown below. You would say repeat and then n number. That's the number of times you want the loop to be repeated. And the loop would be contained in square brackets, command brackets. The commands would be inside those square brackets and be repeated n number of times. Let's look at an example of a counted loop in NetLogo. Here's a small NetLogo program. Right now we're going to examine counted loops. In this program we have a set of procedure which clears the world and creates two turtles randomly positioned on the NetLogo plane. In the two repeat loop procedure we ask turtle zero, the first turtle created, to repeat 36 times moving forward one and turning right 10 degrees. As it does this, it also sets the patch color underneath itself to be green. Let's go take a look. Okay, we've already set up the program and now we'll execute the repeat loop. When we execute this repeat loop by moving forward one and turning to the right 10 degrees and changing the patch underneath the turtle green, we create the circle. So that's how a repeat loop works. Conditional loops are different. They're repeated while a certain conditional statement is true. You must initially establish the conditional statement, and it must be true at some point during the program execution for the loop to start looping. The conditional statement must become false during the looping process in order for the loop to stop. Otherwise, the loop becomes infinite. NetLogo has a specific command for conditional loops. It's the while command, and it looks like this while and in square brackets the conditional statement. In the second set of square brackets you would list the commands that you want executed while the loop is looping. So the conditional statement in the first set of square brackets must be true in order for the commands to be executed. Once that conditional statement becomes false the loop is exited. Let's look at an example. Here we are back in our simple NetLogo program and we have a while loop procedure. In this procedure we ask turtle1, which is the second turtle that was created, to put the pen down and set the pen size to be 5. And we're going to say while the P color underneath this turtle is black, move forward one step and set the heading to random 25. Let's take a look. So we've left the green circle in place and we have turtle number one 
right here, and we're going to execute the while loop. Okay, now we have the wrapping on in the net logo world. So once the turtle started moving, it went off the net logo plane and came back over here, up again across the whole plane until it hit the green circle or until the patch underneath the turtle was no longer black. And then it, it stopped by itself because the conditional, while P color, which is the color underneath the turtle, is black, then keep doing this loop. So that's how a while command works. So in summary, there are three types of loops. Infinite loops, counted loops, which use the repeat command, where you repeat a set of commands a maximum number of times, and conditional loops, which use the while command. The loop is repeated while the conditional statement inside the first set of square brackets is true. Thank you.